let me show you kind of a fun tool here, a 90 second website builder. It's called text art and it's under the drawing tools. It's the one at the bottom here. If you click on this and draw a box, you'll see that the words 90 second website builder up here. Now you don't have to live with those words. You can change those for this text art. That's just how it gets you started. Double click on this object and you can see you can put whatever text you want in here. This is where you would edit that text. I'll leave it as 90 second for now, but you can put whatever you want in there. Here's what the text art tool does. First of all, you'll see that you have a different warp style. Right now it's kind of warped this way. You don't have to warp it. There's all these pre-built warps, they're called. Just a bunch of them. Different effects you can do. I'm gonna do something kind of plain. I'm just gonna pick one that's not really warped just for the sake of this demonstration and click on there. I'll let you play with all those other fun ones. I can change the style by uh, changing the font to something else if I want to. And this doesn't have to be a web safe font. It can be any of the fonts in your Windows system. Why is that? Well, that's because we're actually creating an image. This is not going to be actual text on your website. It's going to be an image. And so it can be any font that you want and you can center it any way that you want to. You can also make it bold or italic or plain, etc. And you can stretch it, meaning uh, the opposite of stretching it is making the letters be all the same, the characters, I should say, be all the same. So let's click OK. And that's what this looks like. So you see how this, all the letters are the same height? If you don't like that, you can make that be stretch, which is kind of probably more common. Click OK, and you can see they kind of reset themselves. But all I've done is create this uh, object, which is really uh, an image that you can use to make, say, a logo or something to put in the corner of your website or a banner or whatever you want. And it stretches beautifully and it doesn't lose its quality. So it doesn't pixelate. It's kind of nice. And again, you can make it say whatever you want, of course. So let's play with this a little bit. Let's say I wanted to make a little logo in the corner of my website. Well, I can change the background color, meaning the background of each letter. That's what this is. This is the background. So if we were to change that to something well, let's make it kind of a deep sky blue. And if I wanted a border, I can make that border be black. And again, these are not limited to just solid colors. These could have been gradients, even images. You can make it transparent, make it glassy like a texture. Same thing with the border. There's different styles of borders. I'm just picking the basic solid. And the width can be changed here, of course. I can even make this a hover object, which means when the, when the mouse hovers over it, it would change its properties. So let's change that to something drastic here. Let's make it kind of a deep red with a purple border or whatever. If we click OK, here's the style that I selected. In order to test that hover, I'd have to do a preview. So I'm clicking F5 to see what happens. So now when the mouse hovers on it, you'll see it changes its properties. So we're just kind of making kind of a cool little effect. Now remember, this can also be a link. So you could actually make this be a button that goes somewhere. So if we click on the link tab, we could link this object to any internal or external page. We can also add effects like offsets, meaning shadows, and what color and opacity those are. You can even add a plethora of other effects I can't even begin to go into, but let's start <laughs> anyway. So we click Add, and here are a ton of effects. I need to move this over so you can see it in the camera. I'm going to click Add, and you can see there's all these categories of effects. These are the same effects that apply to images when you're working with images, and if you've watched the video about that, you, you are familiar with this. But you can literally apply hundreds of combinations of effects and get a little preview of it. So I just applied the blueprint effect to this object. There it is there. And you can add multiple effects. So the possibilities are endless. We'll just stick with that one and click OK. You can see I turned it into sort of a blueprint style. And of course, I can make this be any size that I want. And again, it doesn't lose its quality as far as the lettering goes. So it's kind of cool that way. Anyway, to make changes to it, you simply double click on it and make these changes. Now, one other thing before I go, there's something else you can do. There is a gallery of pre-built style. If you don't want to start with sort of a plain text like I did, you can get started with one of these. If one of these looks close to what you're trying to do, then you could select this, click OK, and then that would apply to the object you're working with. Remember, in this case, I also have some effects. I can turn those off by removing them. Let me click OK, and you can see that's the one that I just picked from the gallery. And if I wanted this to be, you know, a logo, say in the bottom corner of my website or top corner of my website, make it a link, it's easy enough to do. Very simple effect, very easy to work with. Again, it turns it into an image. It says that here, which is important. It's not text, it is an image. 
That's how it's going to publish, and it should, so that I can keep all these attributes. So anyway, that's how you worked with the Techstart tool in 90 Second Website Builder.